Hello viewers, welcome to Tech Study Cell. In this video, I am going to describe why we should add the electrical equipment having metal body and what will happen if we don't add those equipment. And after this video, you will understand why we sometimes get shocked from any ungrounded equipment in home. So let's start. In this picture, the electrical supply of this house is single phase. Here electricity is supplied through R phase and neutral. At the power station or substation, the neutral point is grounded. In case single phase supply, only one of the phase from R, Y, B, for example here R phase is taken and neutral is given to supply the electricity to any house having single phase. Now to use every electrical equipment we connect the equipment to supply now let there is a ungrounded equipment having metal body is connected with the supply as shown in this picture as i said the supply transformer in the power station or in substation the neutral point is always grounded and here r phase is used to fed the supply this house so red indicate the r phase which is live wire and black indicates the neutral wire now here a toaster is connected with the single phase supply and a fuse of 5 ampere is in line now let's assume that resistance of the toaster is 100 ohm and single phase voltage is 230 volt so we can measure the value of current voltage divided by resistance that is 230 divided by 100 2.3 amps the current is flowing through the line as shown now though the equipment is ungrounded and there is no fault occur it will operate normally in this time if anybody touched the equipment he will not get any shock as no fault occur in this equipment as shown in picture now what will happen when live conductor comes contact with the metal surface of this equipment. Now we can see as previous that equipment is still working but here is a fault occurred due to insulation failure and the electricity is now in the metal surface of the equipment. As the equipment is not grounded in this time if anybody try to touch the equipment then what will happen? After touching the equipment, the person standing on the ground, he will complete another circuit to flow the current through his body. Now as I said before, in all the supply transformer, the neutral is grounded and there the person is standing on the ground. So a complete circuit is shown in the figure. Now we can measure the value of the current through that human body is passing. Let's assume the resistance offered by human body is 1000 ohm. So the current through that human body is voltage divided by resistance. In this case 230 divided by 1000 ohm. That is 230 milliamps. The current more than 150 milliamps can be fatal. So in this case the human is getting a severe electrical shock. Now the total current in this case is 2.3 ampere plus 230 milliamps which is less than 5 ampere so fuse will not blow and the circuit will not open in this case so now how to avoid this situation at first we have to ground the metallic body of the electrical equipment to avoid this type of situation now in this picture we can see the metallic body of the equipment is grounded with a ground wire of low resistance now as there is no fault occur still the equipment is working as previous now if any fault occur then as the ground wire resistance is very low and the equipment is grounded after any fault occur the current will pass through that ground wire of low resistance in this case the resistance of the ground wire is assume 10 ohm then we can calculate the current flowing through that ground wire that is 230 volt divided by the 10 ohm resistance which is 23 amps which is much greater than the 5 ampere 
so for this high current the fuse will open instantly so in this time if anybody does the equipment in faulty condition you will not get shock as just after the fault occurred the fuse will blow up and the circuit will be open so thus we can avoid this type of situation just by grounding the electrical equipment having metallic body and some equipment don't have the metallic body those equipment need not to earth as the non conducting surface of the body already work as an insulation so in that case if anyone does the non conducting surface of will not get shock as the current will not flow through any non conducting material i hope you can understand why we should ground the equipment having metallic body and how we get shock from any electrical equipment and how to avoid that thank you thank you for watching the video i am going to make others useful video so for that please subscribe the channel so that i can make others video and again thank you for watching and please give like if you like the video if you need any modification or any suggestion please comment below to improve the videos thank you